Well, welcome back to Marky Mark's Wood Shop. I'm Marky Mark, and this is the Wood Shop. So, we used up the rest of the stain. I'm using the Minwax, which I like, as uh, it's readily available and inexpensive, does a nice job. And we're using uh, number 231, which is Gunstock. And of course, we used that in the last video to cover a lot of our carcass and shelves and such. So while I was at uh, Home Depot getting that, I picked up some hinges that we'll need for the doors that we'll be making. And I also got a box of goodies that I ordered from Woodworkers Supply, Timbermate, uh, wood filler, putty, and this is a mahogany, and there's another one I ordered which uh, didn't come in, uh, actually the one I really wanted to use, uh, I forget what shade it was, it's not on the paper, but we also got, also from Tim, uh, woodworker supply are knobs which are wood uh, square mission style with a little pyramid very definitive mission and also got a latch that we'll be using on our little secret compartment project when we get back to that so lots of supplies in And let's figure out what we're going to do today. Actually, we can put some things together. Uh, we can install the top, which uh, was also stained. We can put the shelves in. And maybe attach a few other pieces, too. And I promised I was going to show you... Uh, some things that you couldn't see in a previous video at the time it was underneath of the work surface that was sitting there so let's go over and take a peek at that so the uh, piece that we installed that you couldn't really see because of the work surface was on there and I needed that to get the positioning correct these are just some supports uh, that we glued in using those uh, deep sea clamps and also coming back and hitting them with some 16 gauge uh, wire nails but that's going to provide the slide for the support for the other work surface and had I been thinking I probably should have turned this the other way and put a rabbit in it so uh, as to keep this straight because as it is it can do this so I'll probably have to attach a little something there to just keep it uh, straight coming out. So, there we go. Let's find our shelves and throw those in. There we go, and it still feels, I don't know, I hate to call it wet, but you can feel it's still a little tacky, probably because of the humidity level here. And we have the top that we'll get some glue on that. And when we get back to the stain, I missed this, so we'll have to redo that. And it's got a little bow up top there that we'll have to straighten out along the way too. So for now, I think I just might leave the top laying there uh, since we have to come back and do a couple little things. It may be easier for me to pop this back out to stain it too. 
So one of the other things I want to do is put a support down the center here. <clears throat> a little bit longer board, obviously. Uh, because what's going to happen, this is kind of wide for a shelf. It's going to have weight on it, and eventually they'll bow. So I want to put a support along there. And as it happens, uh, one of my options is to um, mortise it back a little bit. <clears throat> I've got some options. Uh, one of the things, I've got a tube, a brass tube that's about two feet long. If I set it back far enough, I can mount that there, and that's used for uh, dropping black powder into cartridges, which is necessary. So that'd be a perfect place for me to mount that. Uh, so I've got to find a suitable piece of wood to put in there, maybe a piece of alder. I'll see what I have left. I've got my alder cut that I'm going to use. It's uh, seven eighths of an inch deep by one and a quarter wide. That way I'll have an area to uh, close my doors against, plus be thick enough to provide the support I'm after. It's just a hair long. I'm going to have to shave off maybe a 128th of an inch. I've got just the slightest bow up here, which after time, again, it's going to sink, but maybe I won't live that long. <laughs> so we're square, and I've marked where I'm going to cut, and the shelves are sitting back 9 30 seconds of an inch and since the board is 28 30 seconds I went back 19 30 seconds that way it'll be even with where it's going to hinge so the only thing left to do is get out the old dazuki Now the hard part will come having to break it out. And trying to chisel it with no support. So that's another reason why I may wind up having to take it back off. But we'll see, this pine should split pretty easy. And I'm gonna start up a little bit for testing. There we go. Looks like it's going to cooperate. It's chiseled out. And then we'll test fit it in a minute when I get it done. So with the notches chiseled out, I've got a little bit of waste still in there that uh, because I'm too lazy to take it all back apart and use the bench, I'm just going to use a rasp to clean it up. All right, let's see what kind of test fit we have. All righty, after a couple of minutes of filing, I've got it exactly where I want it. <clears throat> so that piece is in place. All righty. So, the next step is we're going to go ahead and stain these, but I'm going to hit it with some uh, fine paper first just to give it a nice smooth edge. Okay, so we got a couple things to stain. We'll get that out of the way. So, that's the top. We'll just set that up out of the way. Let that dry. And it's time to do our face frame. I gave that a quick little sanding too. It had a few little marks since it's been rolling around the shop. Hasn't done it any favors. So we'll go ahead and hit that real quick. I really like the way the birch takes this. Uh, men wax. I'm 
we've used this on a couple of other birch plywood projects. If you missed it, uh, I made uh, some cabinetry in a half bath I built last winter, which includes the vanity and uh, medicine chest and another cabinet, which wound up over the commode. And of course, Amber did a video documentary on that every step of the way. And when she got through, she did a compilation, uh, kind of shortened all the steps a little bit, and made one video from stem to stern. So you might want to check that out. Thin areas are kind of hard to get the uh, streaks and whatever out. And this is the little alder strip we put on the edge of the plywood. So no one will never ever know it's plywood except for me and you. Okay, we'll set that up out of the way to dry as well, and that only leaves the support. I want to get all four sides, but I'm only going to do three right now. Actually, the fourth side's not really necessary because it'll never be seen. seems to be sucking it up. So, with that done, we'll set that up out of the way. And we'll let all that stuff cook overnight. So as long as we're playing with the stains, what I think I might do is uh, give a quick little sanding on our work surfaces and hit them with the watt cow. So we're going to hit the inside work surface with Watco Danish oil. And I love this stuff. I've only used it in natural, but it does come in other uh, shades that you would expect for woodworking, the golden oak, mahogany, and yada yada yada. So we're just going to work this in with a rag, same as the uh, same as what we just did with the other ones and I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up but you can really start to see the wood pop, the grains are coming out and becoming more pronounced really makes the would look awesome. And we'll wind up putting several coats on here. I think, I'm not sure, that the base on the Danish oil is probably uh, a linseed oil, just going by the smell. So it doesn't dry nearly as quick as the Minwax. Our recipes are based off of linseed oil and some other old standbys. And I've got linseed oil up there. I'll use that on my gun stocks once a year. That's all they ever used to use on those way back when. 
so got a coat on here and what I'd like to do is I have to take a picture for mom and of course it's been uh, nowhere near close to being put together since we kind of piecemealed it so far so just for a mom picture I'm going to slide this in there and of course that will set up uh, on top of here but I'm not going to go through all that right now and this is kind of dry so dry enough to work I'll set that in place for the picture that can finish drying there Get our face frame out of the way. Flip that over. And we'll probably have to rearrange the camera so you can see what I'm doing. So, say cheese, uh oh, looks like my camera's rebooting, well I won't hold you up. Anyway, that looks like about as far as we can get at the moment, uh, since we really have to uh, wait, the next procedure is going to be kind of big, which is going to be our doors. So make sure you subscribe so you can continue to watch the progress. Leave a comment. Hit the like button. And thanks for watching.